Okay folks, so if you saw my video last week about corner tabs and how to stop your corners from lifting on prints, you'll know I wasn't too happy with showing you my dodgy way of adding corner tabs in Prusa Slicer. So I went looking and I don't know how I missed this, but there's been something to make it a lot easier for a long time, I'm guessing. So let's have a look through what possibilities you have in Prusa Slicer. Let's just add key fob. So instead of adding a cylinder like I did in the last video, you can actually go down here to the gallery, which has been staring me in the face all this time. And there's actually a helper disc right there. You can click on and say, okay. Now you can't see it. So if you just select it and go to move, you can see that it's just been added underneath there. So once you get it out, you can move it back around here or wherever you need it on whatever point you need it. Bob's your uncle. And if you saw the fancy tabs that I added on where the disc is set off from the print itself with a little tab going to it to make removing easier. In printables, there is a better anti warp mouse here that you can download. If I go back to Prusa Slicer now and into the gallery again, I can click add and bring up the better mouse is STL and it's right there for me to select. I can place things wherever I want to. What I like to do is go into the slice, we'll lose these errors for now, and go right down to the bottom layer just to make sure that it's touching, that it's there, yep, yeah, all good. All right, now what are those error messages? I'll just move this around real quick, slice it again, and you'll see that there's an error message here. So this is basically because there's multiple objects and Potentially the nozzle will hit the print or some part of what's already on the plate, which we don't want to do. So all you have to do is go up and select everything you've got there and do a merge. That will treat everything as one once that's merged and sliced, no problems at all. Also, all the Cura people probably won't be watching this because it was for Prusa Slicer, but if you do have Cura and you're looking for that Tab Plus plugin that I was talking about in the last video as well, it's actually been taken out of the marketplace. But what I found was it's still available on GitHub. I'll include this link in the description and there's some really good instructions on what you need to do to add it. So I haven't actually tried these instructions, but they look pretty straightforward and I've added other plugins to Cura like this in the past. Hopefully this extra information from the corner lifting tab video is helpful. It was a really popular video, so I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. Thank you everyone that's subscribed and I wish everybody happy printing.